He's not out there. I mean, what happens is this field it rolls over a hill right here, and it comes down to a nice little bottom. So he might he might be out in this this other field down here. It's a rolling hill. You can't see 20 yards. So we'll work down here. You can see a lot better. And uh, see if he's out there. Entire scope. I didn't have time to adjust. Oh. Came right in. Yes. You see oh. those colors? Oh. Oh, big dog. I can't see. Oh my god. I started calling. He's like, oh, he's not gonna come. He's just gonna go away. And all of a sudden, bam! He starts beelining right in. Look at this head. Oh boy. His teeth are worn right out of his skull. This is a big. Eastern New York mountain coyote. Oh, he's that's a big dog. I can't wait to weigh him. He looks four, 45 pounds easy, if not more. More, maybe more. That's a big boy, boy. Well, we got the alpha male today. What is it, mid October? Late, mid to late October. It's late October here. And we're actually, I was actually deer hunting. Earlier this morning, coming by, back over to head toward to pick Brian up at his house, and uh, I was on the phone. I, I glanced out in the field and see this monster dog out here. So switched over from big buck mode to monster coyote mode, and coyote fever kicked in. And we were on our way to go after him. Two minutes later, we were out there after him, and, and one minute after that, freaking the jackrabbit collar brought him right in. Farmer just told us these dogs have been running calves through the fences. He said, "Go get them." And we did. 